Beginner mistakes. Um, I want to help you guys kind of avoid beginner mistakes and avoid um, mistakes that are easily made, uh, typically with newer growers. You know, when you first start growing, as cannabis especially, um, you want to do as much as you can. You want everything to be perfect, right? You want to perfect pH, amount of water, the lighting, environment, et cetera, et cetera. And that's good to have that type of concern and that level of uh, care for your plant. However, one of the biggest mistakes I see made quite frequently is the continuous kind of messing with, poking and prodding um, of seedlings, clones, seeds, seeds uh, themselves, etc. You guys remember have to remember a certain thing that <laughs> plants are living things. You know, um, they necessarily don't have a mind of their own, but they're living and they have certain patterns and things happen in um, a certain way, I should say. Um, the more you kind of mess with the seedling, the more you take it out, check on it, mess with the whatever the rooting medium may be, whether it be the foam cube, organic blocks, or rock wool, rock wool especially, um, all you're doing is kind of prohibiting or slowing down the seedlings process of rooting, forming roots, germinating, and then sprouting. Um, I know it's one of the harder things to do, but you kind of need to set back and literally let the plant grow. Um, that is honestly one of the biggest mistakes I see is just people constantly wanting to have their hands on the plant. Um, and you guys need to remember anytime you do anything to the plant, you change anything to the plant, you touch the plant, water the plant, take it out of the cup, trim it. It's an input. You're inputting something onto that plant. You're telling it to or not to do something. Um, so remember that. Um, another really big mistake I've been seeing lately, kind of touching back to the soil addition, is um, it, overwatering your soil. Um, whether that be you're using the soil addition, you're germinating a seed, et cetera, et cetera. Um, one of the most important things when you're growing in soil is to allow the soil to dry back. And when I say dry back, I don't mean dry all the way out to bone dry, right? I mean reducing the moisture level. Um, ideally, you know, it's, it's difficult to have um, a dependable way to measure the medium, whether it be soil, cocoa, rock wool, et cetera, um, a dependable way to me measure the moisture level of that medium. Um, that being said, there are other ways to test the soil moisture. One is the weight of the pot. By simply lifting the weight of the pot, once the soil's in there, you have the plant in there, before you water it, you lift the soil pot and get a weight, right? That is the lightest that pot should ever feel. Um, you should be doing daily checks if you're growing in soil, picking up the pot, oh, the pot feels heavy. Okay, it doesn't need water that day. Pick it up the next day, oh, the pot still feels heavy, but it does feel a little bit lighter. Tomorrow will need water. You pick up the pot the following day. Uh, yep, the pot feels light. It's time to water it. Um, if you do not allow the soil to dry back or lose moisture, you're going to have a myriad of issues. I'm talking development issues. First of all, root, root development issues and root zone issues, which are basically the lifeline of the plant, right? Because you have root issues, you're going to have growth, slow growth, um, nutri nutritional issues. <clears throat> um, you may even start to see um, necrotic tissue like leaves start to die or look like they're burning or have dark spots on them. Um, you may even have a complete general yellowing of the plant, burning of the edges, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the effects of overwatering are very widespread and very broad. So um, make sure you're applying enough water and you're watering at the proper times. Every time you water, you should water until there's a little bit of runoff and you want to water the entire soil of the surface evenly. You don't want to just water certain spots or just in the center. You want to water the entire surface evenly until there's runoff reached. Um, ideally, I know I said to use, you know, the weight method to check the pots. Um, that's something I've done my whole career, guys. You know, even when I was working in greenhouses, hand watering thousands and thousands of plants, um, you walk around with a handful of tags you pick up the pots if that if a pot needs water that day you put a tag in it and then you go around the whole facility and water all the pots that's kind of how it goes um it's the same kind of practice if you are using some type of soil moisture meter or medium moisture meter you never want to let it get below i would say 35 percent moisture the medium 